Hi folks, it's Nick here, and we're looking at a game I have no knowledge of at all until I looked it up, because it's part of a recommendation. The game is Turbo on the Commodore Amiga, published by Micro Illusions in 1989. It's a top-down 2D re re racing game, yes. I don't know what that car is, it's a Porsche, isn't it, really? But I understand it's top-down a bit like Spy Hunter, and you have to shoot stuff and get as far as you possibly can. So we'll see how it plays. Options of joystick versus computer, joystick versus joystick, joystick versus modem. That's interesting. What, via the internet? That's quite interesting. Do you want instructions? Yeah, okay. All right, it's just telling you what you already know. Joystick versus computer, you versus a computer, essentially. And that's what we're going to do, because there's only me here. Now, the Mega has some great games. It has some poor games. Let's see what this is like. This don't look too brilliant so far. But let's not prejudge. It might play excellently. Well, I like that zooming in. Right, here we go. Oh man, this sounds a bit basic. The, fr the frame rate's a bit iffy and the controls are a bit iffy. It's a bit comparable to, um, oh my word. It's a bit comparable to our Hot Rod on the Amiga, which is bad, but this moves a lot quicker than that. Oh, this takes a bit of getting used to this. I'm on the joystick. Yeah, lots of blood flashing around. Right, there's time ticking down on the, uh, on the right. If you had two players, I'd imagine you'll be each side of the screen rather than just one. Uh, yeah, this is poor. 1989. There's a lot moving on the screen at the same time. You can pick up power-ups. Keep an eye on the arrows on the road, it looks, just to find out where you're going. Occasionally it'll say slow. So it does give you clues. Let's pick up some... Oh, oh I need to stop for these trains. I don't... you got... Infinite lives until the time runs out, it seems. I don't know if this is a commercial release. I'm not sure, to be honest with you, is it? I would not have liked to have spent more than £5 on it. Maybe even less. Right, police are after me. I can shoot stuff. Uh, I'm not enjoying this, to be fair. But it, if anything, it does feel very retro, but not in a good way this time. That blood is a bit overkill, isn't it, that comes up? Oh, that's it. My time's run out. Your race is over. It didn't last very long at all. So we'll be having a few goes of this, see if I can get any more out of it. But yeah, the frame rate is stopping it being any good for me. As it crashed, we can only hope. Did you have turbo? What are your thoughts on it? Because I think you've got to spend quite a lot of time to get the most out of it. And this is my first go. But first impressions is it's pretty ropey. Right, let's see if I can get used to the controlling mechanism a bit more. Lots of cars straight away. I prefer Spy Hunt on the ZX Spectrum to this one. Actually, I prefer a lot of games to this one. There's people to run over. I'm not sure if you're supposed to be running them over. Right, there's some weapons there, I think. I don't know how you top up that time again. If I run over say, in accident, by accident and the time goes back up, let me know. I'll come past train. Right, here we go. Very hard to control this. Very slippery. Get out of the way, everyone. I don't know if this is level or stage based, but you can get to the end and it goes somewhere else. Feels like a bit of a, a, a game on the f on your phone. But this was 1989. What do you think? Am I being too harsh for this one? I don't think so. I won't be playing this again after the review's over. I think maybe the person that suggested this as a review either can see something that I can't see or is having a little joke with me. If you're going to play any game with the word Turbo in it, play Turbo Lotus Esprit. That's just my advice. Or even Turbo Outrun, which was terrible on the Commodore Amiga, but uh, actually, this, this is better than Turbo Outrun on the Commodore Amiga. That just shows how bad that was. The train going across, as I say, does remind me of Hot Rod and similar games. Right, stop, go. 31 seconds left. Let's see if I can get a bit further here. Oh! What was that? I just I just picked up something. You can pick up spikes for your wheels, I think. Let's see if I can find any of those. And then you can bash people out of the way a bit easier. Get out of the way, police! <laughs> Lots of screaming going on. That's the best bit of the game. I like that death screams. Am I getting better at this? Oh, it's all gone brown. This must be the next stage. I'm up against some mud flaps, but time's running out quite quickly. Well, that didn't last very long, did it? Oops. Yeah, the oil makes you skid around. 
Please say finish. No, that's game over again. Yes, uh, the race is over. You know, I don't like this game. I really don't. Top-down racing games. Look at Nitro. That's a good top-down racing game. Or Supercars, or Supercars 2 in particular. This one, no. Haven't reviewed Skid Marks yet. That's supposed to be a good uh, top-down game. Um, Ivan Stewart's um, the Super Off-Road was a good game. We'll just have one more go at this, just to make the review some sort of distance. But, uh, yeah. What you see is what you get here, which isn't much. Just not crash into anything, Nick. Let's see if you can do a bit better here. Power it. Are the levels the same each time? I think they might be random slightly. <laughs> a lot of screaming going on. They're probably people that have played the game before and it recalled their screams as they killed themselves and suddenly you get incorporated in the game. So my screams might be in it if you ever play it. Hooray! Ugh! I suppose a bit like uh, Carmageddon, I guess, where you just run over and kill people. So it's not teaching kids too much here, it's just uh, blood first glory and uh, terrible gameplay. But after this, death won't seem so bad, it sort of loses its sting, really. Ah, oh, the world's most dangerous road. Oh, there's some motorbike sidecars there, I think. I've never, I've never driven along the road that's to slow down because a train was going across. Never, never in a zillion years. Get out of the way, everyone. I'm coming through in my Formula One car, it looks, that can fire missiles every now and again. I think it's just a case of surviving as long as you can, both in the game and real life actually playing it. You have run out of time. The game is over. Well, yeah. One more go. Are we glutton for punishment? I, well, maybe. Could be. Maybe not. Yes, let's do this thing. Let's complete it this time. This is definitely my last goal. Don't say I don't give any game um, all it, all my worth to try and see if there's anything missing that I haven't seen. But I think uh, I think there is. If you know something about this game that I don't, because I'm not very familiar with it, say I should be doing that I'm not doing, which will make the game infinitely better, then let me know. But I, I've, I don't think there is anything too technical going on here. Uh, let's go. This is a road not to cross as a pedestrian. Oh dear, sorry about that. Good, I'm getting better at stopping for the trains anyway, which is good news. I'm not sure if I'm getting points running these people over. Right, skid on the oil. Don't seem to cause too much of a problem. Time is ticking down. There must be there must be something you can go over which makes the time go up. Oops! Blood again! Cross the whole of the freeway. 35. Get out of the way, people. It's probably as far as I got last time. Why did I die there? Someone just drop a bomb. I need some there's trains every there's trains every block of this street. I think it must be just random generation, this. It looks like a public domain game, to be fair. It's not, I doubt it's won many awards. Pass the train again, but only eight seconds left. Whoa! It's fun if you're drunk for one go with friends. Outside of that, load something else quickly. Jeepers. You've run out of time, thank God. So we gave that a few goes. You can't argue that I didn't give it a good run to see if it was any good, but uh, I, it's not very good. I hope you liked having a look at that one for nostalgia purposes of anything. That was Turbo on the Commodore Amiga, published by Micro Illusions in 1989. Thanks for watching that one as always. If you've got any views about the game, if you disagree or agree, please put your comments below. Until next time, take good care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.